one of the things that's come out of this clearly is that if you're a woman on a social media platform and someone asks you for your WhatsApp number, that's like giving your phone number out in the street. Don't do that. Engage the person, especially if it's on LinkedIn or especially if it's in your business page or adverts, keep them there because relationships, Gregory mentioned it earlier, people meet people and that's okay. And people like people and that's okay. But that comes from friendship first and from trust and from respect, like Anisu was saying. So don't give away your WhatsApp number, keep these men on the platform. And if you spot these warning signs, immediately block them, as Anusu was saying. Olivia, if you look into camera, what would you like to say to the men? And then what would you like to say to the women? For the men, Jonathan, I would just like to say that before you actually think about even doing something like that or trying to get somebody to do something that is not actually, I would say, of the free will, because you're actually leading them into something that they are not aware of in the beginning. So you're making them believe something that you are actually not. You are actually lying to them in a way and maybe seeing, maybe it's the fun of getting away with it, I think in a way also. And maybe they tried with different women and maybe they've gotten away with it. And now it's basically become almost like an addiction. Mm -hmm. So they try to, and they continue that behavior until something major happens where they are forced to stop or the, it basically becomes maybe out of boredom. They stop, for example. So I would just like to tell men out there to... The main thing is please respect women. We are also human as you are. We're not seen as things, for example, like tables and things that they can you can just speak to in any way or just try to do anything to us, for example. So yeah. it's also like, and a lot of these men also are married and have daughters and have kids. So, I mean, anything that you wouldn't want done to your own daughter, don't do it to someone else, for example. And there are good men out there that respect women and that can speak to women respectfully and that don't have hidden agendas, for example. So, set them aside. But the thing is, people should actually just be respectful of one another and don't think because someone is vulnerable that you can actually take advantage of their vulnerability. So there's a lot of people that are hurting out there that have issues, they, they actually desire to be loved and there's nothing else. And then you actually come along and you take advantage of that vulnerability, which is not actually right. So you're leading someone to believe something that isn't actually a real and that actually strips someone maybe from their self-esteem and they actually believe that there isn't good people and good men out there so you actually um make it bad for someone else mm -hmm. at the end of the day and to the, to the women out there and to the girls and especially young girls that is very active on social media nowadays i would advise them please be careful when it comes to your WhatsApp, your TikTok, your Instagram, your Facebook, whichever social media platform it is, please make sure that your privacy settings are there, that you protect yourself, that your address isn't showing. Because there's a lot of people that is unaware of these privacy settings. Mm -hmm. So they put in these things when they actually are um signing up for these things yeah so they forget and then you actually have to go back and for example because facebook is linked to your whatsapp it's linked to your instagram like for example when you use facebook to maybe sign into another platform please be careful 
because the information actually goes from the one platform and it's transferred to another platform. So also be careful with that. You can go into your settings and also remove that and also um, actually unlink the apps to each other so that your information isn't floating around on every social media app out there. So you can use the one to actually gain access to all the others. So just be careful about that. And also, if something does happen to you, it's not your fault. So you don't have to blame yourself and question if there was anything that you did wrong. Because unfortunately, there is people out there with, um, that's like that. And where they think maybe, you know, they, they're entitled to be like that. For example, if it's in their position or if it was something that they grew up with that, you know, men are supposed to be dominant, for example. So you don't have to take any of that behavior from anyone. doesn't matter if it's a man. It sometimes happens even with female to female. So it's not necessarily just men, for example. So that is something that I would like to tell them out there. And don't be afraid of saying or asking help from someone or speaking to someone about it because that is what happens with a lot of people. They just stay quiet and it just goes on and on and on and the behavior continues. So please do not be scared of speaking to someone. Go to an older person, go to a family member, go to a friend, go to someone that you trust that's a female if you feel more comfortable and tell them what is happening. That is brilliant, brilliant, brilliant information. And um, uh, what I'd also say, so we're going to be signing out now and I'll, we'll do, all wave in a, in a second, but what I would say, so amazing uh, nuggets of information about separating the, the platforms, Olivia, because I didn't know that was possible. And you're certainly right that we enter the, all our details to sign up to these services. And unless we tell them, or tell it to to block it those those details are available and what olivia said about reaching out if any woman watching this video has had this kind of behavior happen to her then tag in at social me too in your response because um i uh, i think that we are starting to have a positive effect um because of the me too aspect of it and i'm hoping that the, the, that will lead to to something great in the future right so uh jonathan here from some talented people let's put you back on gallery view everyone like to wave goodbye bye bye goodbye, bye. goodbye. we'll see you again for another bye, recording goodbye. soon yeah. thanks a lot for supporting social uh, at social me too and this is jonathan signing out thanks a lot bye thank you